Despite Mercedes going through one of the most terrible periods in their F1 history, Toto Wolff continues to talk about potentially getting Max Verstappen and this time it finally made Christian Horner respond and he did that with a wrath. It's interesting why Wolf does this, as the question that can be asked here is, does Wolf have some hidden agenda seeing at this ongoing power struggle in Red Bull, which seems to have subsided a bit for now, or is he, as Horner says, barking up the wrong tree? Three months ago, it seemed inconceivable to contemplate the idea of Verstappen departing from Red Bull, the team with which he achieved record-breaking success on his way to a hat-trick of world titles. However, despite the on-track triumphs, cracks began to emerge back in February when team principal Christian Horner came under investigation for allegedly inappropriate behaviour. This prompted Joss Verstappen to suggest that Red Bull would collapse if Horner remained in charge and Helmut Marko was probably the leading figure behind all of this. This sparked speculation that Verstappen, who has called for peace more than once, might leave the team to avoid the behind-the-scenes politics, especially if, as we've said earlier on the channel, Marco leaves the team. Should Verstappen leave Red Bull, Mercedes is the team that is being talked about the most to be his next one, with Hamilton leaving for Ferrari, a spot has opened up next to George Russell in the garage, and Verstappen, in some ideal world, would be a great great acquisition, especially once 2026 comes and the new regulations set place. Because rumours are going on that Ferrari and Mercedes will be the dominant sides and not Red Bull. By the time this season comes, Verstappen could potentially have as many as five championship titles and the records of Hamilton and Schumacher will be within reach. So if Mercedes fight with Ferrari, then you would want to be in one of those two teams if you would be a championship contender. Toto Wolff knows this and has done nothing but reignite the rumours constantly of Verstappen leaving with the Mercedes motorsport boss continuing to publicly court the driver as he seeks a replacement for the Ferrari-bound Lewis Hamilton. Speaking after the Chinese Grand Prix, the Austrian suggested that factors other than having the quickest car could play a role in Verstappen leaving Red Bull. There are so many factors that play a role for a driver joining, Wolff said. Clearly, when you look at it from the most rational point of view, you can say that's the quickest car in the hands of the quickest driver. But I don't think this is the only reason you stay where you are. I think for, let's say, simple minds, that might be the only reason why you stay in a car and that's it. But maybe there are more depths for some people that consider other factors too. I think that Max has that. In that respect, are we able to convince him? I don't think it's a matter of convincing. I think that Max knows motor racing better than anyone. He will take decisions that he feels are good for him. I think a few factors play a role, but he's the one that is going to trigger some more domino stones to fall in afterwards. Everybody is waiting for what he's going to do. This definitely seems like mind games from Toto Wolf, who is, after all, a very experienced team principal, knows what to say and when to say it. On the topic of when, if at all, Verstappen could move from Red Bull to Mercedes, Wolf revealed he wasn't at that point of discussions with the reigning world champion. You have conversations many drivers exploring new opportunities, so that isn't surprising, said the Austrian. As for Max, we're not at the point where we would have discussed years or stuff. If I was Max, I would stay at Red Bull in 2025, but I'm not Max. It's the quickest car, but there are still other factors. This made Horner really mad. And to be honest, this is the first time we see the Austrian team principal reacting like this when it comes to one of his drivers. With every indication to Red Bull from the Verstappen camp that the triple world champion is fully committed to his contract, Horner says Wolf is wasting his time dreaming that there is a chance of getting him. Asked about Wolf's ongoing hints about Verstappen potentially being available, Horner told the media, Have you spoken to Max about this? Because if you speak to Max, it's not about pieces of paper at the end of the day. We know that he has a contract to the end of 2028. It's about how he feels in the team, the relationship he has in the team and the way he's performing. And I don't think Toto's problems are his drivers. I think he's probably got other elements that he needs to be focusing on rather than focusing on drivers that are unavailable. Horner believed that the ongoing intrigue surrounding Verstappen's future was perhaps being fueled as a distraction tactic by Mercedes to shift focus away from its tough start to the season. 
I'm not going to get drawn into it, said Horner. I think sometimes it's just designed to create noise. We moved in China ahead of the amount of races that Mercedes have won in the modern era, so the team's in form. Why on earth would you want to leave this team? Mercedes are the third team behind their customers at the moment. So I think his, Wolf's time would be better spent perhaps focusing on the team rather than the driver market. And Horner is completely right. Why on earth indeed would Max want to leave this team, especially in the state in which Mercedes are right now and without any guarantees that the team will actually be competitive come 2026? All we have right now are some simulations which can turn out to be something that no one would expect as we have seen with the aero simulations from earlier this month where the 2026 cars are apparently slower than F2 cars. Toto and Horner are very similar. They both thoroughly enjoy getting under each other's skin. However, the contrast lies in how they handle it publicly. Horner tends to become mad and attempts to turn it around, often quite successfully, and sometimes he seems confused, almost as if he can't believe that someone had the audacity to use his own ploy against him. On the other hand, strangely enough, Toto doesn't appear to let it bother him as much as perhaps it should. Maybe he's more aware than Horner that it's either either merely words, an attempt to provoke a reaction from the other, or an experiment to see if either can make the other metaphorically explode. While all this is going on, Max Verstappen is just calmly on the sidelines, winning races and doing his job. And to be honest, no one can blame him for it. If life brings him to Mercedes at some point in the near or distant future, then he will certainly be the Max we all know, dominant and ruthless. But for now, leaving Red Bull to join a free-falling Mercedes side would simply be without any reasonable explanation, especially without any firm evidence of the Silver Arrows being any good. The only thing is that Red Bull are also not guaranteed to dominate as they will be making their own power units from that year onwards, especially with Audi coming in and Honda going to work with Aston Martin. Max would want a dominant team if he continues in the sport, but his contract with Red Bull runs out in 2028 and Horner is adamant that Max will see it out and only then decide about his future. However, we've seen time and time again that in Formula One, nothing is certain because no one could have thought about seeing Hamilton in a Ferrari suit, but that will be the reality very soon. Mercedes has wanted Verstappen for a decade, losing out to Red Bull only because the Austrian side could offer a Toro Rosso F1 race seat immediately. Even Hamilton suggested it wouldn't make sense for Verstappen to leave Red Bull, given he currently has the best car. But if the toxic situation at Red Bull could give Verstappen the reason, and it might not be for 2025, it could be for 2026, and at the start of the new car and engine rules, which would let Verstappen wring every last bit of success out of his Red Bull career this year and the next before the team risks collapsing on itself. It's a prospect with at least some merit and one that Verstappen hasn't explicitly ruled out, even though he's been given plenty of chances to do so. But let's see what happens. Just imagine what Verstappen in Mercedes overalls would look like. Do you think Horner and Wolf only fire shots at each other to stay in the spotlight or there's something more behind the scenes? Let us know down in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.